Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you've joined me here today. I hope you're all doing well. Um, it's a, another lovely sunny day here. I've actually changed filming positions because um, the chair where I normally film is right here and usually you get all the variations in light. So I've changed seating um, and hopefully this is going to be better. Uh, today I'm here with a charity shop haul. Yes, I've been out shopping, um, no surprise. But um, yes, I decided I was going to go to the charity shops because um, I'm relatively new to charity shopping and I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's you can get some really, really good bargains. I know people saying that charity shops have gone up in price, but I, I don't know because... Um, as I say, I'm relatively new to them, so I don't know what the prices were before. Um, but I think they're cheap, you know. Um, I do think some items, you know, are well, like, say, a dress or whatever in some certain charity shops. And I look and I think, oh, you can get new in Primark. Like, I can get a new dress in Primark for maybe, it's like, £14. Especially if it's in the sale. Sometimes I can get it for 5 or £7. So, you know, if you're looking at it like that, there can be a bit more, yeah, you can think... Well, they've gone up in price or they're a bit more expensive than what they used to be. So anyway, without any further delay, I'm going to jump in and show you what I bought. First off is this beautiful little top. It's like a little cardigan. Um, what's like a bolero cardigan, I would say. It's in a, like an off-white colour. I'm not sure whether it was white and it's called kind of wore this colour, but I still like it. You know, it's um, like a crocheted. It's like this fine crocheting. Um, the sleeves are scalloped at the ends and the bottom is as well. It's got a little button fastener here and the lovely scalloped detail. And I thought that would be really nice to put on in the summer just as a little cover up because um, I don't like my arms showing. Uh, I don't. I mean, I will show them, but I prefer not to. So um, this is going to be like a nice little cover up without like really covering up if you know what I mean um, and I bought this from the um, Cancer Research UK and it was only £3 for that and it's by the what's that let me have a look at the tags the labels are almost falling off I think it's pronounced what was it W there you go so that was £3 for that which I'm over the moon with Actually, um, my next item is, I think I've got mainly clothes in this one and things. Um, oh no, I've got a couple of homeware items as well. So we'll get to those. Um, right, so my next item is this lovely little suede bag. It's got like a lovely little pleated detail on envelope style. It's like that from the side profile. And it's got this lovely silver chain. Is that silver? Yes, it's silver. Like a lovely little silver thin chain strap. Um, I don't think this has ever been used, mind. There's not a mark on it. Um, I don't know where it was from. Let's have a look inside, see if there's any indication. Um, no, there isn't. Because um, I thought it might have been Primark, but I can't see the atmosphere sign there. But that's the inside. It's enough to fit sort of your bank card, you know, your mobile phone, a lippy, you know, little, little, little bits of um, makeup for a night out because that's kind of the occasion I would use this bag. Or if I was going to an, like a, an event, like an occasion, sort of like a christening, wedding, you know, that kind of affair. It's a little... Oh, do you know what? There is a tag in it. It's right at the very bottom. I don't know if you can see it in the corner. It says Coco. So Coco as in K-O, K-O. But that's a lovely little bag. And I picked that one up from, um, which one was it? It was the, it was the hospice. Well, um, St. Benedict's Hospice. I picked this one up for, and it was only two two pound fifty. Right, so moving on, I then picked up uh, I don't know which to show you first actually. There's some I've got a few items. So I picked up this lovely tribal kind of necklace. 
can you see that it's got these beautiful beads like turquoise colored beads and like a red bead and greer so a few different colors there which will mix with different clothing it's um like gold chain and you can wear it sort of on a choker type or with the extender you know you can wear it quite like a little you'll get another sort of two inches to it without if you're using the extender chain but that is just lovely i think it'll be really nice for the summer i'm not sure where i would wear it with yet but i'm sure i'll find something um or it'll just go in the armoire with the other costume jewelry i have so this one was only a pound and then um, this was from the cancer research uk so that was a bargain Um, I picked up another jewellery item, which is this. Actually, this will go really nice with what I've got on today. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna wear this after I've stopped filming. I'm gonna put it on. So it's this little bracelet, and it's quite, um, I would say it's quite sort of bohemian um, vibes I'm getting from it. Uh, it's just like pink. Uh, what's this? Pink. What's the word I'm looking for? Lace. Pink lace straps and it's got an extended chain and there you go it's just like a lovely sort of fuchsia pink which was really nice before i'm wearing it today so i picked that up and that was only a pound and that was from the um where was this one from cancer uk it was from cancer uk my next item that i'm going to show you um is this lovely skirt it's lovely sort of um i would say like tie-dye it's like a tie-dye and that's the bottom of it the bottom's fluted because i do like this like fluted um hemlines i, I like hemlines that's um you know a, a handkerchief or asymmetrical or i always like skirts and um dresses to have like that kind of hemline like unusual hemlines you know not just straight but i do wear straight ones as well don't get me wrong but i do like the uneven he hemlines so yeah i picked this up this is in a size 16 um i don't know if you can say that it's a size I like my fear sword focus. Um, a 16 and it's per una, which is Marks and Spencer. And that was £2. plenty of rustling isn't there <laughs> sorry about that my next item if do you know what if you're a, um like a content creator vlogger youtuber you know whatever um or even a photographer my next item you're gonna love it's this tripod lovely little tripod obviously it extends um i'm just it does extend it does extend it's getting a bit technical guys uh, sorry it does extend now this is brilliant you know um for tabletop if you um if you're filming sort of um a coogan vase here or anything close up or like where you're doing a tutorial because um are you i, I do have a tripod a, a different one uh like an octopus one but um and the octopus one's lovely for gripping round things and stuff. And if you're out on the go, you know, and you want to do some like impromptu kind of video on, you can tie sort of wrap around a branch of a tree or something like that, which is really good. But this I think is really, really nice as well. Uh, it is a see it extends that way, and the legs extend this way. Um, it's actually really, really good. So it's by a company, a brand company called Slick. 
so I'm just going to show you that um, for you know us YouTubers out there uh, ladies um, well and gents <laughs> that's the the brand of the tripod slick 450G really really handy very lightweight as well um, so you're not going to be lugging it around well, you will be lugging it around but you'll not feel like you're lugging it around with it being so light okay. so it does extend it extends from that to that and then if you want it longer you can extend that and then obviously it extends like quite quite a height you know really really handy so it's got this um strap for uh, easy carrying you know you can just sort of put it on your shoulder and be off on your travels which yes i plan to do that you know this summer get out and about and take this along with me that would be cool um and this like little arm obviously to angle your camera you know and then lock it in a place like that brilliant honestly it's lovely i love it uh it, it was only three pound three pound so lovely find i was so excited when i found this honestly i'm, I'm looking for different things you know to a uh, from a youtube channel not you know like gadgets and things like this you know to make filming easier um sort of invested in equipment you know um lighting and things like that so anyway my next items guys you might think oh elaine you know that that's a bit old lady <laughs> But I guess I, I'm our old lady, I don't know. Anyway, it, do you know what? I w if you said, Elaine, that's a bit old lady, I probably would have agreed with you like a few years ago. But um, I actually... So, uh, hang on. So when I left home and got my own house, this, this picture is definitely something that I would have gone was for. was a time when this would have been like the height of fashion um, and it would have been hanging in my house. To be honest, um, I don't follow fashion trends. Um, I don't wear clothing. I don't follow fashion trends in the house either with warm furnishings. I mean, I, I dip in a little bit with ornaments and things like that. But like my, the BS pieces in my house. So, so like for instance, my um, sofas in the living room I have had for 20 years, you know, so the only way I will change them is if they wear out, which they are wearing out after 20 years. Um, I will need to replace them soon. I have had a friend do work on them in the past, um, like upholstering, um, but they are getting to that point where the leather start, it, it's old, you know, and the dogs don't help. I always keep a cover on my sofa, so if you've noticed, because of the, you know, the dog class. But sometimes, you know, they're not covered and the dogs do jump up scratch and things like that so they do know uh, I, I will need to replace them at some point um but do you know what if i could i would buy the same sofas over again i i love them i like them that much and then um, if you're wondering they buy a company called pendragon they were very expensive when i bought them at the time um, but honestly i couldn't complain because they've lasted for years could not complain uh my other bits of furniture i'm lo I'm just looking over here my dining table i've had that for again probably about well longer i've had that more than 20 years my cabinet i've had equally the same time i bought them all at the same time so i guess what i'm saying is i don't change my things up that often you know i like big items of furnishings um i do cushions you know change cushions and things like that but um this picture get back to the picture really and you've gone off on a right little tangent there get back to the picture guys i'm going to show you it <laughs> Dan, it's lovely i think it is tell me what you think of it you don't think it's all lady do you no i got it from my bedroom actually and i think it would look nice in here as well but it's like a botanical um print so it's got like the the words under here if the the species of flower the species of rose actually that it is and i just i like the frame it's mounted as well isn't that lovely so I, i'm going to put it in my bedroom i'll show you it when i do tell me what what you think of it up there when it's like actually hot on the wall so it's by it's not by the guy who say uh, framed it is douglas white and he's in um well he was he's not there now um 
at least I don't think he is, Vine Place in Sunderland. And the t I know it's old by the telephone number. Can you see? The telephone number, there's a one missing from the dialing code. So it's 091 and now it's 0191. So it's, um, it is an old picture. And I like it. <laughs> Tell me what you think of it in the comments below. Hi guys, so I've put the picture up. Tell me what you think of it. I mean, this is kind of the room that it's in. So I thought the roses, like the rose on the picture went with the roses on my bed up here, they're on the coronet. What do you think? I think it looks nice there. See if I can zoom in there. That's it there. I really like it. I, th I think it kind of goes with the theme of the room. Not that the room's really got a theme, but you know what I mean. I think it looks um, it looks in place. In it looks within keeping. That's it. That's the word. It looks within keeping with the room. Tell me what you think, guys. Like you said, oh, lady. <laughs> anyway, on a picture theme, let's spin this round and show you this. Okay. So I went for it because I like the frame. I love this type of frame. I do have some frames like this. I've got a picture of Emma in one. I'll show you it. Should not like it. <laughs> I'll show you. So it's this frame here. Can you see that? And it's the town hall. This building here, this beautiful building. Can you see it? Here, this one. This beautiful building was our town hall here in Sunderland. It's absolutely lovely. It's gone. It's gone. Um, our council at the time, which is still the council now, actually, um, pulled it down. Actually, pulled this down and built a different, more modern building. And um, now they're going to pull that building down, and they've built a newer one. So, um, I mean, it's it's a big controversial th uh, topic in town here, you know, about them pulling down the town hall. All we have now is just like pictures like this to remind us of it. But what a magnificent building, isn't it? I don't think we should have pulled it down. But, you know, not much you could do about it now, is there? <laughs> um, it, got, it actually was pulled down in my lifetime. Um, I think it was pulled down in the early 70s. So I was, I was around then. But this beautiful free merits in as well. And do you know what? It had like quite a few mounts inside. Like it was mounted... Um, and um, I've, I've took it apart actually and I've I've just put two mounts on it because there was, there was about four different mounts in here or something. Actually no, there was four and there's now three. So it's one, two, three mounts. I think that's really nice. The picture's a little bit faded. You know, our, um, it, I think it was sepia, started off as sepia but now it's turned sort of a greeny colour. So I might look to get this print. You know, I do love the picture. I might look to buy this print. And, uh, and redo it. So this is from the same place actually. Oh hang on is it? I think it's from the same place. Let me have a look. Yes, yes it is. The telephone number on the back. It, it's torn off a bit. Douglas White is at the city. I don't know if he's still there. Do you know what? I'm going to have to go into town and have a look. But it's the same um, it's the same guy um, who frames pictures here in Sunderland. Like I said, I don't know if he's still there. I've never been down fine place for such a, a long time now. But isn't that lovely? And it was £3. It was just hanging on the wall. So I just I thought, yeah, I'm going to have that for £3. It's quite big. So, guys, this is the picture I was talking about of our Emma. You know, um, it's in the same mount like a very similar mount style to the picture I've just bought from the charity shop um on this picture she's um actually sort of done up dressed up to look like a, um a Victorian a young Victorian child oh look at that she's so cute <laughs> oh she's still little and cute though <laughs> she's gonna kill me for this right guys so the next item I picked up was this other beautiful skirt This is it here. It's in this beautiful burgundy. Well, it's a burgundy wine. 
I would say I would take a wine colour, beautiful red wine colour. It's absolutely gorgeous, nice lace. You know, and at the bottom it's like fluted. It's a flute, yes, yeah, so like, I don't know if you can see it. You can see like there's panels, what, what make it like flute out. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So it's like that all the way around, you know. So it gives some movement to the skirt, you know, when you walk. And this is why I like, um, you know, skirts like this with like uneven M lines because they, they just give a like a lovely flow and movement when you're walking. Um, I picked this up in a size 18 and it was originally from Bon Marsh. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm laughing. There's nothing wrong with Bon Marsh. Just Emma used to work there <laughs> back in the day. I think it was probably her first job maybe, I don't know. Um but yeah, she used to always make a joke about that. I would I would be shopping in Bon Marsh one day, you know, because it is known for like the more mature lady, shall we say? And uh well I guess I'm getting there. <laughs> but I'm not paying the Bon Marsh prices, I'll just get them from the charity shop. So this was two pound guys. Um I will do a try on with this one, show you what it's like on, but I absolutely love it. I think it was a steal for two pounds. Right guys, next up is this other beautiful skirt in this like, I don't know, it looks a bit like a leaf pattern, but I'm I'm really not sure. It's like a lovely cream colour um, and it's um, like got black, so it's like cream black and that's the bottom. It's like got a layer, uh, it's like a two layered skirt. I don't know if you can pick that up, you'll see it when I try it on, but it's like an elasticated waist and it's it actually doesn't say who it's by this one but it was only two pound the same as the last one but there is no brand name in it but it's got a nice cream lining and that's it there i will show you it on My next item is this rolling pin. I've actually took the price off this, but I remember how much it was. So this rolling pin I picked up, um, and it was only $1.99. It's a heavy marble one. It's exactly, well, I'm saying exactly, this is my rolling pin. So it is it is like a bit wider than mine, um, and the handle's a a bit lighter than on mine but uh, I love this one I've had this one for years it does have a little stand with this one this one didn't come with a stand but you know what it makes no difference because I don't really use the stand it's just in the cupboard and um, the stand was like when I got it years ago you know I put in the I think I bought that in 89 that rolling pin and show you how long I've had it um, and it was all like nice to have all these things out on your bench top but I tend to like things put away in the cupboards these days it's less to clean isn't it guys um, so yeah this beautiful marble heavy marble rolling pin I picked it up for Emma for um, when she moves out because she's planning on doing some bacon and that you know when she gets her own place I hope she does you know um, but this was only one ninety nine, guys I thought that was a steal you know, one ninety nine for that. It's, it's really, really heavy. And I have like a, a heavy rolling pin means you haven't got to put so much work into it because the pin's doing all the work. And plus with it being marble, it's very, very cold. And pastry loves cold. You know, it just doesn't like, like if your hands are warm or anything like that, you know, it doesn't, pastry doesn't work well with warm hands. So um, if you are, going to be a, run your hands under the cold water tap for a while to cool them down you know um and get yourselves one of these guys i couldn't believe it because i've just done a video um which was what was i doing all oh, my scones i was doing my scones it was for the um like the afternoon tea that i did for my family and uh i'm sure i said in that video you know 
uh, pick yourselves one up if you see them in the in the charity shop and then I went in the charity shop and saw one I couldn't believe it it was just must have had to be you know I do believe in fate um so yeah 199 for that which was a bargain and um yeah so that's concludes my charity shop haul guys um i hope you've liked it if there's any item that you've liked let me know which it is down in the comments below if you haven't already subscribed to my channel or if you're just new here you know um i would love to have you subscribe if you could click the subscribe button and also if you click the notification bell you know beside it you'll be reminded when i upload next um i do upload three times a week i upload on a tuesday on a thursday and on a sunday and yeah if you want to be part of like our little community here on this channel yeah just join us <laughs> just click that subscribe button right that's all for today see you in the next one guys bye bye bye